Yeah. Hey, Riley. Um, let's start kind of generally. You you haven't uh, talked to us all year as we were just talking. Um, what's this year been like for you? Uh, we're almost at the end. Any thoughts or summary of what this has been like? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's first of all, it's it's been a crazy. It was a crazy off season with all the obviously the COVID stuff going on. That's that's no surprise. But I thought I came in this year and I was ready to play and. Um, you know, I had a big summer last year, so looking for another big summer this year. And, uh, you know, as far as the years go, there's been ups and downs, but I feel like my game right now has been uh, really good the past, you know, 10 games or so. So, um, you know, the main thing is just trying to trying to find find your game game and stick with it and, uh, you know, do something that works for you. Uh, you know, as a second year guy, I'm, you're actually somewhat, you know, a veteran almost in a lot of ways uh, with how young the roster is. Mm-hmm. Talk about with this game tonight specifically, doing the things that Coach Graham talks about with, you know, keeping your composure, being, you know, getting back to basics like you guys did in the third period more. How do you help to instill that on the bench and on the ice as you're in the game? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, obviously, like you said, we got to stick to our systems. That's when we're playing our best. And um, I think the main thing is, is, um, you know, something that we struggle with a little bit this year is, is we get the lead and then team will come back and score right away and we just kind of get down in the dumps. But, um, you know, we have to find our, uh, you know, have our composure there. And, um, you know, we've been playing pretty good hockey lately and uh, we can't let that stuff bother us and um, just have to stick with our game, like you said. How how do you build a resiliency like that in a roster to not get down in the dumps when you when you give up a lead and, um, you know, continue to battle on? Yeah, for sure. I think it, you know, it's, it starts with communication. I think that's the biggest thing. If someone makes a big hit or, or makes a good play or, or even blocks a shot, um, scores a goal, everybody's got to get up on the bench or, you know, even to uh, somebody makes a mistake, you got to, you know, have their back. So, um, you know, you just have to have each other's back. I think that's the main thing. And, um, you know, we, you know, that's something that this team has been trying to do this year and um, we just have to stick with it going forward. Uh, last question for me, any, uh, any back and forth, bad blood, you, you, Adam and, uh, and Jordan with, uh, the way that their season ended and obviously, uh, being a bulldog. Uh, no, I mean, um, no, not really. I mean, you and me, yeah, they had a great season. So, um, you know, I'm proud of them and, uh, it is what it is. All right. Uh, thanks, Brian. Yeah, Riley, you mentioned uh, having a big off season last year and coming into this year from the first year into the, your first off season. Uh, what did you kind of evaluate from yourself and uh, and really change about your game going into this year? Yeah, no, for sure. I think that first year um, of pro is just kind of the, lear- the learning curve. And, uh, you know, you it's an adjustment. You're, you're coming from college and, and you're going into pro. So. Uh, you know, that first year you kind of set in, kind of feel, you know, feel your game out a little bit. I think the second half of the season, I was really good. And, uh, you know, I was, was trying to build off that this year and, um, you know, just trying to move forward with my game. And, um, you know, I'm not going to be going out there scoring every night. Like I need to protect pucks down low and, and play big. So, um, you know, those are some of the things I just try to focus on. And, you know, if I'm going to play in the NHL someday, it's going to be doing that. So I'm um, just trying to focus on that. Overall, you guys have, I mean, it's the, the nature of the season when you play so many games in multiple days, but is it kind of nice the, the way the first two games of this series have gone to be right back at it tomorrow at five? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, obviously you had a big win there Thursday night and, um, you know, it sucks losing, um, you know, tonight, but it, the good thing is, is that we can get back, get back at it tomorrow. So, um, you know, that's huge for us and uh, we need to respond the way that we need to.